that Aaron Hicks earlier, and he was talking about trying to introduce the punt a little bit more just to try to see the shift. Is there like a, I don't know if trick is the right word, but is there a balance of, of when to kind of use that to to kind of get, uh, earn some respect in the shift to, to open things up for him? Yeah, I, I, look, I, I think it's one of those things that if you demonstrate you can do it even once, you know, just – it's something that gets on the board with an opposing team and their scouting report. And, you know, it, it all of a sudden makes you have to make an, you know, real time decision about how you're going to defend if you're going to sell out and just still move the third baseman. So I do think <clears throat> there's certainly a place for it, uh, especially when you can do it. It's something we've encouraged Aaron to do and, and, uh, and obviously something he's capable of doing. It's good to see him already have some success with it <clears throat> in a spring game earlier. Um, so there are times when, uh, absolutely, I think it's valuable and, you know, even if you do it a couple of times and you're successful, um, it goes a long way in, in, you know, kind of changing how they play and, and eventually open it up more of the field. What did you think about that one he had the other day against, uh, Pittsburgh? Perfect. Perfect. And now, you know, all of a sudden you see him do it, you see him do it well, you see him look the part doing it, um, you know that that's something that that will get it, the attention of of opposing teams, even for you know months down the road. Um, but it's definitely something that um, he has in his toolbox, and and hopefully we'll see a little bit. To circle back on Hicks for a second, you know, it, in, even in the days when you were playing, he probably wouldn't be your prototypical three hitter. Um, obviously, that's changed now. How has your kind of thinking evolved and changed um, over the past few years with that? Well, as I talked about a couple of days ago, like the the three holes really a spot in the order, you know, and, and in context, you know, with our lineup too, it's really, you know, obviously hitting from the left side, he, he breaks up some of our right-handed hitters. It's a spot in the order that, you know, I value a guy that doesn't put the ball on the ground a lot um, and still gets on base a lot because the three hole spot more than any, spot in the order you're going to come up with no one on base and you're going to come up more often than not than anyone else with a man on first so you really value a guy that doesn't put the ball on the ground but still gets on base a lot um you know especially ahead of like stanton and voight there like you know so <clears throat> first inning scenarios when you know two guys you know between dj judge and hicks you know more often than not <clears throat> stanton or voight's going to come up with a runner on base in, in that situation because you have three guys that really get on at a high clip. So, um, but, but your personnel all, all factors into it well as well, right, left, you know, where, where you see guys. And I think he's a natural in the three spot for us. Yeah, I guess my, my question was more, um, was there a book, was there a conversation with somebody that kind of made you shift from when you were a player and the three was the three hitter was just kind of a, a home run hitter you would think about? Yeah, I mean, when I played, you, you, the three hitter was the best hitter on the team. It was, you know, um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess I guess it's kind of evolved over the last several years. And then, you know, since I've been here over the last three or four years, really, you know, see how you, <clears throat> you know, think more closely and intimately how you put things together and put the lineup together and where certain skill sets uh, match up the best. So I guess it's been something that's kind of evolved steadily over the last 10 years. Um, when when we talk about Davey Garcia, we bring up Pedro a lot. You know, he loves him. They've got the same physique. I'm curious, when you see Davey on the mound, stay with me here, do you see Louis Tion? Do you see anyone else in his delivery? And sort of how do you think that helps him with his maybe stature and sort of um, drive for the plate? I don't know. I don't know if I necessarily look at it as I see those guys. Mentioning Louis Tion and mentioning Pedro, like I get the comparison. I get the, you know, the stature and, and Louis Tion, who is, you know, had a very unique and deceptive and changed up his delivery a lot. Um, so I don't know. I, I think being around Davey now for over a year, and I, I think the thing I appreciate about him is, you know, his ability – to really change speeds, um, a real understanding of changing speeds, having feel of three, three and four pitches because he's got two different breaking balls, um, and 
how coachable he's been. Um, you know, it, and, and I don't mean solely from a you know taking instruction and being easy to talk to and share things, but being able to take instruction and apply it and make adjustments with it and better his game. He's done a really good job at that. That's been something that's been, um, I think, pretty special about him and, and I think why we've seen him, in my view, from this time last year to where he's at now, he's grown exponentially. And I think a lot of it is um, his field of pitch, um, his more consistent of a delivery now, but also his ability to take instruction and, and apply it uh, in short order. You know, we talk about his curveball a lot, but have you seen development in his fastball and the way he plays his curve off of that over the last year then? Yeah, I have. I, you know, I think with his delivery, he's a little more consistent with the command of that, uh, of his fastball. Um, he does a really good job of, you know, a lot of times with any pitcher, but a lot of times with younger pitchers, it's just, you know, throw it as hard as I can. Davey does a real good job of, of, you know, taking a little off, adding on when he needs to. But I think he's also done a better job of commanding his fastball, and I think that has a lot to do with him just being in a little better place with his delivery and more consistent with that.